This National Historic Site Gothic Revival Home is one of Canada's most important historic homes. It's called Earnscliffe Manor, and it was home to our first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald. The British government purchased it in 1930, and now it's the official residence of the British High Commissioner. I'm getting a tour from restorative architect Chris Daimling. Looking at the building, you can see these Gothic revival moments, like the arched window right up there. That's correct. You can always tell a Gothic revival home exterior from its steeply pitched roof, decorative wood trim, and dramatic finials. I'd say about 50 to 70% of the home is still original to the days of Sir John A. Macdonald. We poured through documents to look at all sorts of photos that we could find from right back until the 1800s. At the time Sir John A. purchased this home, it was listed for $10,000. Oh, Chris, he's still here. That's right, Tommy, a bust of Sir John A. Macdonald. Well, there he is with that prominent nose. Whoa, this is gorgeous. Absolutely. I mean, immediately you come in here and you see all of these original details, the staircase, beautiful archways and the moldings. So these, all these historic details that you see, Tommy, are all original to the house. So you came to be at this house because of a tragedy, right? There was a fire in the attic. And that could have been a catastrophic event. I mean, the house could have been completely lost forever, which would have been such a shame for the nation. And then your team came in to do the restoration. We did. This is grand. This is the drawing room, right? This is the drawing room. That's so right. they would have called it the withdrawing room, and then it became the drawing room. That's correct. Because you would withdraw here after a meal. During Sir John A's time, this room was used to receive and entertain his many notable guests, including Queen Victoria. These are beautiful. A lot of layers of paint on there. So these are original to the house, obviously. Somewhat symbolic of Gothic Revival style. And just down the hall is the most amazing dining room. This is fine dining. I love the way that the paneling is called out with the paint color. I love the ceiling heights and the volume in the space. The length of this table is incredible. This is really a dining table fit for a queen. This is so epic. I mean, you can imagine servants scurrying around, serving a huge dinner of gatherings of dignitaries and politicians, but it still feels very warm and very inviting. You can also get a good vantage point of the room from upstairs. This is awesome that you can see right through to the dining room from up here. I want to tell you a story about this bench. This bench is here today because it's been preserved from when Sir John A. Macdonald lived in this house. He built this bench with his bare hands for his daughter. You're kidding. Yeah. When they were entertaining guests and dignitaries, she used to love to sit here in the evening and watch all the beautiful women in their ball gowns arrive into the dining room. This is the prime spot to see everybody coming and going when there was a party. I love that. It's the party perch bench. This is Sir John A. Macdonald's bedroom. This is it. This is where he slept, where he really slept. Till his last night. This is actually where he passed away to. This is the big story of this residence. And as I got to snooping on my own, guess who showed up? Hi, Commissioner. Hi, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. I'm nice Tommy to Smythe. See you. How are you? Hi, Commissioner Howard Drake not only works here, he lives here. So I asked him to show me his favorite room. So there's this room in here, which is the river room. Uh, for obvious reasons. Whoa. I can see how this home was built for entertaining. I mean, the flow that it has naturally, the grand spaces that are available to do that. But you and your wife have also done such a magnificent job at maintaining a, a feeling of coziness. Well, that's nice of you to say so. I mean, it's really important you know, because it is, as you say, this is where we spend most of our time. So I don't want it to be a sort of sterile location, but equally, not only is it a working property, but it's, we're very aware, my wife and I, that we're living in a bit of Canadian history here. Well, it was time for High Commissioner Drake to get back to work. In what is the coolest office space ever. So this was Sir John A's library. Amazing. This is the actual room where our first Prime Minister did most of his historic work, like the establishment of the Canadian Pacific Railway, which made our huge country accessible to everyone. This is a beautiful room. The house is just a very special place. It is a magnificent site right here, perched on the edge. 